Well, sports fans, I'm going to ask you to watch the video all the way through because there will be a part two. Part two is, of course, the tall ships in St. Pete and Ben Eats Crow. Don't want to miss that. So make sure you get through part one and into part two. Other than that, enjoy. See you down the road. Well, fans up town St. Petersburg came up here to see the tall ships that are in. No parking, normal. Normal for these events. I think you're out on the beaches, do all kinds of things and have no parking. So you gotta walk probably six, eight blocks just to get there. We're gonna give it a try, see what happens. See, the police did their job, or doing their job. The only thing I don't understand is why they got all the parking blocked off down here. All the side streets. If you look around where I'm at here, you'll see we got these meters closed. Now, I'm sure there's a reason, but it doesn't make much sense when you don't have any parking, any parking facilities for this event. And what parking you do have, you close it down. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but what do I know? So anyway, we got a ways to go. As you can see down here, I got a way to go down. See those buildings, USF? I got to get past those. And again, I didn't bring my water, I forgot it. So anyway, here we are. I see you on down the road. Boy, I didn't pay to get here early. Why in the hell everything is blocked off? Parking, I don't know. But we'll see if we'll get anywhere here. You can see this. We got the Campus Grind Coffee Bar and the Tavern, the Bay. Now they got all kinds of parking. They got a ton of parking over there. But instead of charging people to park there, they go to this show. Well, no. No parking. So, we'll continue on with whether they should let us in here to take photographs or not. So until we're told to get out, this is where we'll be. And if you look way out there, you see one on the horizon out there. A couple of them. Gonna get a better view for you. Well, the the big ship there kind of looks like the uh, Elisa out of Galveston, Texas. And the smaller one might be the when and if, but I'm not sure of that one at all. The bigger one, I think, is the middle one. Yeah. This boat's coming in today. They're just coming in. We have opening day for baseball. So, opening day baseball down here. We got this going on down here. And we're right next to the airport. Small plane airport. But all that noise you hear, most of it's from the airport. Now over here, usually, Coast Guard's got a couple cutters in here. But probably for this uh, display, they're probably out and about. So we still got a ways to walk here, unfortunately. Get down here and may be disappointed, may not be anything in yet. So we'll, well see as we get walking. I'm not in the right place. There's a bay over here to my left. Where I told you the Coast Guard parks, and this is the Coast Guard station. And they're only gonna be on the other side of the bay. That means I gotta walk all the way over there. Not too interested in doing that. But it's interesting because again, no parking anywhere. So I just walked that three blocks out of my way. I can just 
turn around and walk back. Now where I am parked, on a city street, I got two hour parking. So I ain't gonna mess around too much. So I'm gonna put the pedal to the metal here, just keep walking. I'll see you down the road. Well, there's a wasted trip. Walk about a mile for no reason. Very, very poorly done so far. Very poorly done. So, we may just try to look another way, but I don't think we'll get anywhere. See you down the road. Well, I went about a mile and a half out of my way here. Got to the other side of the bay, which take a look at. Maybe. We don't know for sure. I got a feeling we're still in the wrong area. I got a feeling they're not in here. That'd be a waste. A waste of time, but hang in there, we're gonna take a look. Well, everything over here is closed up. Still be there just now. So, it is what it is. Oh, well, this trip's been a bust. Came down to see these tall ships, and there ain't any tall ships. Did see a couple out on the water. But according to the paper, it's supposed to start at 1.30. Well, I don't know what was starting at 1.30, and I don't know where they're at, where they're going to dock them. Usually dock them here on this bay, but nothing here. So I've tied two spots, nothing. Walked good mile and a quarter so far nothing it's hot a lot of people walking around trying to find them can't find them no parking they got all the parking screwed up down here for some reason don't know why probably some other event we got the race baseball game opening day today that's a mess well i'm gonna i'm gonna head to the north side of the bay to see if i find anything down there if not i'm just gonna head back and lost to say a lost day Sports fans, Good morning, sports fans. Well, I'm off to an early start this morning. Day two. And my foray into St. Petersburg to find the tall ships. Failed yesterday miserably. I'm going to try again this morning. It's about 7.14 a.m. I'm traveling through Treasure Island right now. And I'm gonna try to get down to St. Pete this morning. Earlier, I should be there by, oh, 7.45. I doubt if I'll get into the area where the ships are at. They probably got that pretty well blocked off and secured. You don't want anybody with bombs or anything else going in. So I assume I'm going to have to shoot a little bit of a distance, but we're going to see if we can get closer today, or we can even find them. 8th Avenue, Southeast 8th Avenue, supposed to be where they're at, we'll see. I looked it up last night on the internet, and by golly there was a uh, place on the internet that explained everything. Not to the greatest explanation, but not bad. So I gotta eat a little crow there too, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure who put that out on the internet, but a lot better than what the paper had. Better information, more accurate, I hope, more accurate. So armed with that information, uh, we'll see. I'm heading back to St. Petersburg. So I'll see you folks down the road. trucking again. See we're in the sunrise. 
downtown St. Petersburg. And I found them, found the ships. Now, can I get close to them? That's the next question. That may be a little bit more difficult. Also, I'm parked in a spot I probably shouldn't be parked. So the sooner I can get back, the better there. Yep. So I gotta hike on down here a little bit. Not as bad as yesterday. Still breathing a little hard this morning. So I'm gonna see you when we get a little closer. Well, this is that Alyssa. She was built in 1877. Just the other day, huh? And I believe she is metal clad. And she is out of Galveston. There's that small ship. This is the Nano. Not sure how you pronounce that. It is N A O. It's out of Spain. It was launched in 2018, so not that long ago. Quite a vessel, though. I'm just not sure the name of this one. I can give you more information. I believe it's the RV Weatherbird. What's the name of that one? Harry saw the name. You saw the name of that one. On the boat itself. Ernestita Morse. Ernestita Morse. Again, I'm not sure of the pronunciation, and I'm not sure I got the right ship. Beautiful vessel. Well, sports fans, there you have it. There's a uh, Four of them lined up over there, and we got three of them lined up here. Now, now you might notice standing out here, it's windy. Man, it's kind of breezy today, and uh, water's really choppy. I had a hard time standing up here on this pier, right here. Have my tired time getting up on it. Uh, right here, had a hard time. So I'll see what I can do by getting these three here if I can get a good shot of those. But it's uh, it's going to be tough, to say the least. It's going to be tough. Now I was here, you know, yesterday, and there weren't any of them in here. We did see one going around the corner way down there. This probably be one of the smaller ones I'm next to now. Right here. Show you these guys as we go. Yeah, he's, he's probably the smallest one right there. He's bouncing pretty good. This is a Jolly Roger 2 here. Yep. Kind of neat. Huh. 
What do you think? There's the third one in line. I don't know the name of that one. Win something. I'm going to walk down this a little further and then call it quits. Can't get beyond this fence. This, this gentleman right here helped out. <laughs> oh, it's windy. See down the road here away. This is the Nina that we've seen earlier. You can correct me in the comments on the pronunciation of these names. Tickets for this were running uh, from $125, and then they had some that were a little bit cheaper, but all sold out. Well, that's that. You can't get in there without a ticket. You can't even get close. So you're shooting through a fence.